He is worthy. He is excellent. He is our great God. Let's just thank him for this day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Let's just thank him. He's God most high. He's excellent. He's all powerful. He's our way maker. He's our defender. Let's just give the Lord a praise because he are fa he's faithful in the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor because you are mighty in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, be our shield, our glory, and the lift off our heads. Lord, we praise your name and we honor you because you are mighty, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, let your name be exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your name be magnified in all the earth by the power in the blood of Jesus. Our way maker, our defender, our protector, we come before you and we say thank you. Thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you because we know our hope and our help is in you. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we praise your name because great are you, God, and greatly to be praised. In the name of Jesus, we honor you, God, because you are faithful. You are too faithful to fail. You are our deliverer. You are our restorer. You are our protector. You are our shield, the glory and the lifter of our heads. Father, we praise your name because you are I am that I am. We praise your name because you deserve the glory, the honor, and the praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you for fighting our battles, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for you are the everlasting God. Thank you for you are the Prince of, Ki Pri Pri the Prince of Peace. Thank you for you are our master, our defender. You are our source. You are our protector. In the name of Jesus, we honor you, God, and we say great are you and greatly to be praised. In the name of Jesus, we honor you, God, and we say faithful you are, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we come before your presence this morning and we say thank you. Thank you for fighting our battles. Thank you, O God, for lifting up when we fall. Thank you, O God, because you are our master, our protector, our defender. Our high priest, we praise the name Jehovah Jireh in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we come before your presence and we say thank you. Thank you for sparing our lives. Thank you for having us here in your presence to call on your name, to trust you and rely on you because we know great is your name, Lord. And Lord, everything that we seek is in you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, receive our prayers now as we stand before your presence to call on you. Hear our cry, Lord, and attend unto them in the name of Jesus. My Father, my Master, my King, my Defender, my Source, we come before you and we say thank you for sending help in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we praise your name, Jehovah Jireh. We praise your name, Jehovah Shama. We praise your name, Jehovah Nisi, because you are faithful, God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for fighting our battles, Lord. Thank you for you are faithful, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, receive our prayers in the name of Jesus. Lord, receive our worship in the mighty name of Jesus. For everything you do, we say, be thou exalted. For everything we seek in you, we say, thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, you are our source. You are our defender. You are our hiding place. And Lord, we celebrate you because you are Jehovah Jireh. In the name of Jesus. Father, we love you, Lord. We say thank you, O oh God. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you for the miracles. Thank you for the testimonies, the breakthroughs. Thank you for all that you will do for us in our lives, Lord, as a result of us standing before your presence. Hear our cry, Lord, and attend unto them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Hear our cry as we come before you and worship, Lord. We say thank you today, O oh God. Do you deserve the glory, the honor, and the praise? You are the almighty God. Thank you for everything, Lord, that we are trusting you for, that you have given in us to us. Thank you for all the help, Lord, that you are sending our way. Father, take all the glory, take all the honor, take all the praise, almighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, so God bless you, everyone. and. Um, Welcome to our prayer program that we're having now.
Welcome to our prayer program that we are having now. And I pray that as we pray today, that you will be blessed from these prayers. Also, I want you to know that, you know, as we are here, and this is an unplanned prayer program, it's just one of those prayer programs to bless you. I want to encourage you to take the opportunity to like the video, share it with your friends, your family, and loved ones. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And also hit the notification bell so that whenever we go live, you'll be able to see us and join us as we pray. And for those that are here or just joining us for the first time, every time we meet, we read the Bible. Yes, every time we meet, we read that Bible. And right now, to the glory of God, we're in the book of Joshua. And we're at Joshua chapter 8. We're in Joshua chapter 8. So turn over your Bible to Joshua chapter 8. I'm using the names of God Bible version. Feel free to use whatever version of the Bible that you are using. And I pray that as we um, read the word of God, we will be blessed. And as you see, our topic for today is help is on the way. There's so much of us that need that help right now. And since the help is on the way, why not tap in? Why not tap in and take advantage of the help that is on the way? Amen. All right. So before we do anything, let's quickly turn over to Joshua chapter eight, Joshua chapter eight. Let's just read the word of God together. We're going to look at Joshua chapter eight and um, yeah, we can also look at Joshua chapter nine as well. So we look at Joshua chapter eight and chapter nine. So let's start off with that. Joshua chapter eight and Joshua chapter nine. Okay, let's do it. Yahweh said to Joshua, don't be terrified or afraid. Take all the troops with you and march against I. I am about to hand the king of I, his people, city, and land over to you. You will do the same thing to I and its king that you did to Jericho and its king. However, you may take its loot and livestock for yourselves. Set an ambush behind the city. So Joshua and all the soldiers started to march against I. Joshua picked 30,000 of his best soldiers and sent them out at night. With these orders, set an ambush behind the city. Don't go very far away from the city. Everyone must be ready. I'll approach the city with the rest of the troops. When they come out to attack us as they did the first time, we will run away from them. They'll come out after us and we'll lure them away from the city. They'll say they're running away from us like the first time as we run away from them. You come out of hiding and capture the city. Yahweh, your Elohim, will hand it over to you. When you have captured the city, set it on fire. Do what Yahweh says. These are your orders. So Joshua sent them out and they hid. They took their position west of Ai between Bethel and Ai. Joshua spent the night with the troops. Joshua got up early in the morning and assembled the troops. Then he and the leaders of Israel led the army to Ai. All the troops with him marched until they were near the city. They came north of Ai with the ravine between them and Ai. Joshua had taken about 5,000 men and had, hid, and had them hide between Bethel and Ai, west of the city. All the troops were positioned. The main camp was north of the city and the other troops were hiding west of the city. That night, Joshua went down into the middle of the valley. When the king of Ai saw the, the main camp, he and all his troops got up early in the morning. They rushed out towards the plains to meet Israel for battle, just where, just where Joshua expected. However, the king didn't know there were troops behind the city wall, behind the city waiting to attack him. Joshua and all Israel pretended to be defeated. Then they ran towards the desert. All the troops in the city were called out to chase them. As they chased Joshua, they were lured away from the city. Not one man was left in Ai or Bethel. They all went after Israel, so the city was left up unprotected as they chased Israel. Then Yahweh said to Joshua, Hold out the spear in your hand towards the city, because I am handing Ai over to you. So Joshua held out his spear. The men who were hiding got up, and as soon as he stretched out his hand, they entered the city, captured it, and quickly set it on fire. When the men of Ai looked back, 
they could see the city going up in smoke. They had no place to go sick since the Israelites who had been running towards the desert had now turned back on them. When Joshua and all Israel saw that the men who had been hiding had captured the city and that it was going up in, in smoke, they turned and attacked the men of Ai. The men who had captured the city also came out and attacked them. The men of Ai were caught between the battle lines of Israel. So Israel attacked them on both sides. None of them survived or escaped, but they captured the king of Ai alive and brought him to Joshua. Israel had finished killing all the inhabitants of Ai in the fields and in the deserts where they had been pursued. They put them all to death. Not one person survived. Then the Israelites went back to Ai and killed everyone left there. 12,000 men and women from Ai died that day. Joshua did not lower his hand holding the spear until he had completely destroyed all the inhabitants of Ai. Israel took the loot and the livestock of that city for themselves as Yahweh had commanded Joshua. So Joshua burned Ai and made it a deserted mound of ruins. It is still in ruins today. Joshua hung the, the king of Ai dead on a pole and left him there until evening. When the sun went down, Joshua gave, gave the order to take his body down. They threw it in the entrance of the city and made a large pile of stones over it. The pile is still there today. At that time, Joshua built an altar on Mount Ebal to Yahweh Elohim of Israel. He built an altar with uncut stones on which no iron chisels has been used. This was as Yahweh's servant Moses has commanded the people of Israel in the book of Moses teaching. They made burnt offerings to Yahweh and sacrificed fellowship offerings on the altar. There in front of the people of Israel, he wrote on stone slabs a copy of the teachings which Moses had written down. All the people of Israel, whether foreigners or native Israelites, the leaders, officers, and judges, were standing on opposite sides of the ark. They faced the Levitical priests who carried the ark of Yahweh's promise. Half of the people were in front of Mount Jezerim and the other half in front of Mount Ebal. Right from the beginning, Yahweh's servant Moses has commanded the priests to bless the people of Israel this way. Afterwards, Joshua read all the teachings, the blessings and curses, as they had all be, been written down by Moses. Joshua read Moses' teaching in front of the whole assembly of Israel, including women, children, and foreigners living among them. He did not leave out one word from everything Moses had commanded. Amen. All right. So let's quickly turn over to Joshua chapter 9. Joshua chapter 9. We can do this. Joshua chapter 9. Let's turn to Joshua chapter 9. Joshua chapter 9. Let's do it. When all the kings, when all the kings west of the Jordan River heard about these events, they joined together to fight Joshua and Israel. They were kings in the mountains, the foothills, and along the whole Mediterranean coast as far as Lebanon, the kings of the Hittites, Amorites, Canaanites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites. When the people living in Gibeon heard that what Joshua had done to Jericho at and I, they devised a scheme. They, po they posed as messengers. They took worn out socks on their donkeys. Their wineskins were old, slit, and patched. Their sanders were worn out and repaired, and, they were, and their clothes were tattered. All their bread was dried out and crumbling. They came to Joshua in the camp of Gilgal. They told Joshua and the men of Israel, we have come from a distant country. Make a treaty with us right now. The men of Israel said to the Hivites, what if you're living in this era? We wouldn't be able to make a treaty with you. They responded to Joshua, we're at your mercy. Joshua asked them, who are you and where did you come from? They answered him, we came from a country very far away because Yahweh your Elohim has become famous. We heard stories about him and everything he did in Egypt. We also heard everything he did to the two kings of the Amorites east of the Jordan, king of Sion of Heshbon and king Og of Bashan, 
in Ashtarot. Our leaders and everyone who lives in our country told us, take what you need for the trip and go meet them. Tell them, we're at your mercy. Make a treaty with us right now. Our bread was warm when we left home to meet you, to meet with you. Look at it now. It's dry and crumbling. These were new wine skins when we were when when we were when we filled them. Look at them now. See how they are splitting. Our clothes and sandals are also worn out because we have come such a long way. The men believed the evidence they were shown, but they did not ask Yahweh about it. So Joshua made peace with them by making a treaty which allowed them to live. The leaders of the congregation swore to it with an oath. But three days after the treaty was made, the Israelites heard that these people were their neighbors and lived with them. The Israelites broke camp. They came up to the cities of Gibeon, Shephera, Berat, and Kiritea, Jerim, two days later. The Israelites didn't destroy these people because the leaders of the congregation had sword and oath about them to Yahweh Elohim of Israel. The whole congregation complained about the leaders. But all the leaders said to them, we have sworn an oath about them to Yahweh Elohim of Israel, so we cannot touch them now. We must let them live to avoid the Lord's anger because of the oath we swore. The leaders said that they should be allowed to live. So they became woodcutters and water carriers to the whole congregation, as the leaders had said. Joshua sent for the people of Gibeon and asked, why did you deceive us by saying we live very far away from you when you live here with us? You are under a curse now. You will always be servants. You will be woodcutters and water carriers to the house of my Elohim. They answered Joshua, we were told that Yahweh your Elohim commanded his servants Moses to give you the whole land and destroy all who live there. We deceive you because we feared for our lives. Now we're at your mercy. Do to us what you think is good and right. So Joshua rescued them and did not let the people of Israel kill them. But that day, Joshua made them woodcutters and water carriers of the congregation. They serve Yahweh's altar where he chose to put it. They still serve today. Amen. All right. So that's the word of God here in Joshua chapter eight and nine. Let's just take the opportunity right now. Let's just ask the Lord for mercy. We know our help is coming, and in order to receive help, we have to go before the Lord and make sure that we are right with him. Not right with man, but right with God. When you are right with God, you are at the place to receive help. You are at the place to receive his mercy. Why don't you take the opportunity right now and just begin to ask the Lord for mercy. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, God, because we recognize you as a merciful God. We recognize you as Lord of all. We recognize you as the ancient of days. We recognize you because you are great. You are mighty. You are powerful. You are our deliverer. You are our restorer. Father, we come before you and we say thank you, oh God, for you are so merciful. Father, we come before your presence now and we ask you, oh God, for mercy. Since your help is on the way, God, we don't want to miss out. We don't don't want to fall short, oh God, of your help, Lord. And so, God, we are coming to you right now and crying out for mercy, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Have mercy upon me, Lord, according to your riches in glory. Oh Lord, blot out my sins. Father, wash me thoroughly from all sins and iniquity. Cleanse me, mighty God, from all unrighteousness. My Father, my God, every sin in me. Lord, I ask you, O God, to cleanse me by your mercy, O God. Cleanse me from all sin by your mercy. Set me free and deliver me by your mercy. Lord, anything that I've done in my life, consciously or unconsciously, that will block me from the help that is on the way from you, God. Father, I ask you for mercy now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I surrender, O God, and I kneel at your cross, Lord Jesus, and I ask you for mercy. Have mercy now, O God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, my God, Jehovah, my Elohim, I ask you for mercy, O God. By your mercy, have mercy upon me. 
set me free. Set my generation free. Set my family free, God, by your mercy in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come before you because we know, God, that you are able to forgive us and you are just God. So, Lord, we come to you and we say we are sorry, Lord, for any sin in us. We are sorry, God, for any besetting ways. We are sorry, God, for any way that is fleshly, oh God, and doesn't glorify your name. Father, let your mercy prevail now in the name of Jesus. Almighty God, to you deserve the glory, the honor, and the praise. We worship you, almighty God. Thank you for being a merciful Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, so we're looking at help is on the way. Help is on the way. So let's quickly turn our Bible to Acts chapter 16, verse 20. Acts chapter 16, verse 20. It says, And a vision appeared to Paul in the night. There stood a man of Macedonia and prayed him, saying, Come over into Macedonia and help us. Amen? So the above scripture that we just read was an account of how intercession brought about divine help. Certain man in Macedonia went into prayer and God had to inter interrupt Paul's schedule to help this man. All right. So the word Macedonia appeared about 26 times in the scripture because God heard someone's prayer. God has a special way of touching people's heart with a view of helping others. So many are stranded in the journey of life because they lack help. And no matter how high or low you are, you may need help and you may, and you will need help to fulfill your destiny. So in life, there are financial, ministerial, marital, you know, um, and so many other kinds of help and lack of help really can hinder the destiny of a person. And so to be without help or without the help of God, I, uh, you know, uh, it's 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 very hard to accomplish what God has set you out to do. You know, we need help of God more than how we need the help of man. And let me tell you, a lot of the time, God will use men to help us. Amen? So Moses started to enjoy divine help as a child. We know the whole story of Moses. He started to enjoy divine help as a child. All right? And, but through the... Timely help of Pharaoh or the Pharaoh's daughter, Moses survived. So if we know the story of Moses, you know what happened at the time when he was born and how Pharaoh's um, daughter raised, uh, raised Moses as his own self, son. So Moses was enjoying help at a very young age, as a baby. Okay? So as we said now for Moses, he enjoyed help from Jethro, from Aaron, from Joshua, and so on. And also, if we look at Elisha and Elijah, they receive help from widows. These are people in the Bible that receive help. And we see Joshua, we even read in the book of Joshua, we see Joshua had his own share of help through a harlot. We see the whole story how Joshua got help through a harlot. And also, when you look at Jonathan, for example, he helped David. Paul, we know he was helped by Barnabas. And these are examples of um, Bible help. People that receive help in the Bible. So in the earthly ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ, um, help was consistent. At his birth, we know the wise men, which are strangers, brought him gifts. And in the preparation for his death, Mary anointed him. Amen? On the Calvary, or on the way to Calvary, Simon of Cyrene helped with the cross. He helped to carry the cross. And when he died... Joseph of Arimathea was available to provide a tomb. After the resurrection, some people got the good news announced for him. So we see even how Jesus himself displayed help even in the scripture and how he, he was even a recipient of help. So let's talk about some of the types of help before we get into the prayers. So we have the human help, human help. Let's look at Psalms 146 verse 3. He said, do not put your trust in princes, nor in a son of man in whom there is no help. All right. But men, I want to tell you, can disappoint and fail you. They can disappoint you and fail you. 
And so there is a limit to the extent by which men can help. Men can help you, but there's always a limit to the extent of how they can help you. All right? Another type of help is diabolical help. Diabolical help. And this is where people consult spiritists for our spiritualists, our spiritists, whatever you call them, for a solution. So I want to encourage somebody, never go for diabolical help because it's an ungodly way of help and it's dangerous. All right, so let's look at First Chronicles 10, 13. So Saul died for his transgression, which he committed against the Lord, even against the word of the Lord, which he kept not, and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it. First Chronicles 10, 13. All right, so that's another type of help. So the last type of help that we're going to look at is help from above. Help from above, and that's what we desire to receive, help from above. So God remains the best source of help for men. When life battles are tough, this kind of help sustains. Always know that. So Psalms 46 verse 1, what does it say? It said, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. God is our help. All right? So make sure that your help is coming from above or you desire to receive help from above. Because let me tell you, when you receive help from above, no man, no power, no principality will be able to shake that. All right? So why do we need the help of God? Let's look at why do we need the help of God? So we are created to be dependent on others. All right. So that's the first point. So from the womb or from maybe infancy and adulthood, we live and depend on others. And so the truth is that we are not created to be an island. So we are created to be dependent on others. That's very important to note. The next one is that most of life battles are spiritual. Most of life battles are spiritual, and this is why we need help, the help of God. All right? So making money goes beyond what you know or, you know, certificates or your certificates can acquire. So in a particular battle, the Israelites fought till they were weak. But when the help of God came, they got a greater dimension of victory. And you can go and read Joshua chapter 10 to understand this whole situation. You know, the next time we meet, we'll read Joshua chapter 10. And so we'll be able to see that if you want to be ahead of the game, just go read it on your own. All right. So um, just read it on your own. I'm not going to read it. It's like 42 verses. So you read it on your own. All right. And then why do we need help from above? Because we are limited as humans. We are limited as humans. Only God is omni, omni. God is omnipresent, omnipotent, omniscient. That God is the only only one around here. And so that because of that, we are limited in time and space. And God can use anyone or anything to help other human beings. God can use anyone and anything to help us. All right? So how to access help from above? So you want to know how to access this help from above? Because that's the help that you desire to seek, help from above. First, you need to ask for it. You know, Matthew 7, 7, what does it say? Ask and you shall be given. So you need to ask for it. God won't act until you ask. Never keep your mouth shut for a shut mouth is a shut destiny. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. So God always wants us to ask for him from him. Always ask. And another way, why do we need help from God? Show help to others. Show help to others. Galatians 6 verse 7, it says, when you sow help, you definitely reap it. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. Amen? So that's very, very important. Why do we need the help of God? You need to humble yourself. Always see yourself before God has been limited and incapacitated. As the Bible said it even clearly in Psalms 147, 6. It says the Lord lifts up the humble. Very important to know. Why do we need help? Or the help of the Lord. We, we, must, we need the help of the Lord. And as we're seeking the help of the Lord or to access the help from above, we need to also don't look down on anyone. We don't, don't look down on anyone. So first, help can come through anyone. Help can come in the form of advice. It can come in the form of counsel, correction, finances, ulysses. 
All right. And you can look at second Kings five, three, five, second Kings five, three to 11. And you can read about that as well. So your helper can be a guardian. It can be a deliverer. It can be a burden bearer. It can be so many ways and shape. I've seen helpers come in so many forms. I've seen God use even helpers that are not even Christian on my behalf in big, big situations where Christians refuse to be a helper for me. And God use people that are not Christians to help. me. All right. So you have to be very, very um, discerning and also be very prayerful and be open to what God is doing for you. Because maybe, for example, if you're out there, say, for example, you're trying to um, get a loan to buy a house or whatever the situation be, it doesn't necessarily mean that the helper will be a Christian. God can use anybody to do that. All right? Very important to know. And so in life, there are hard battles that you can't handle alone, but God is always able to help you. When things are not working, it is because help is lacking. And to every human, God has a plan. And to every plan, there is a designated helper. So never rely on people, friends, the pastors, as the best of men. They, you know, because the truth is that they can fail you. And so they will fail you even at times when you need them the most. So when you pray for help, God works a triangular miracle. When we say that, it means from above, he connects you to another man for your blessings. And from now on, you will no longer lack help. Your help shall be greatly increased and be timely to the glory of the name of the Lord. Amen. All right. So just to recap before we jump into these prayers right now. So we have types of help. We have the human help. And we talk about Psalms 146 verse 3. where we say, you shouldn't put your trust in princes nor in a son of man in whom there is no help. We talk about the diabolical help. And we look at 1 Chronicles 10 verse 13. You can read it again. And then also we have the help from above, because when you get the help of the, from above, that is the best source of help for us. And remember Psalms 46 verse one, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. And so why we need the help of God. So we need the help of God because we are created to be dependent on others. Most of life battles are spiritual and we are limited as humans. And so how to access help from above? How to access help from above? First, you need to ask for it. And we said, ask and you shall be given. Matthew 7, 17. How to access help from above? You must show help to others. And you can look at um, Galatians 6, 7. Galatians 6, 7. And also how to access help from above? You need to humble yourself. And um, we see that the Lord lifts up the humble. How to access help from above? Don't look down on anyone and reason why God can use anyone to do anything in your life or to propel you to your next level. Amen. All right. So let's look at some scriptures now, and then we're going to jump right into the prayer. Isaiah 41, 10, Isaiah 41, 10, it says, fear thou not for I am with thee. Be not be dismayed for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Let's look at Psalms 46 1. We read it already, but look at it again. It says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. And let's look at this famous Psalms 121. It says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Amen. So even the word of God confirms over and over that God is our source. He's our helper. He is our defender. And also another important scripture to even meditate on when you're looking at this um, help is on your way or your help is coming to you is Psalms 20. 
Because, you know, when you're seeking for help, you have to be confident and be assured that your God is there for you. Amen. And um, Psalms 20 is not very long. It's just a few verses. We can read it together. We'll read it together so that, um, you know, we all can um, um, benefit from the scripture. But this is what it say. It say, may the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob defend you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. May he remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice. May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose. We will rejoice in your salvation. And in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They have bowed down and fallen, but we have risen and stand upright. Save Lord, may the king answer us when we call. And so as you're seeking Lord for help today, you know, even that very scripture that we just read in Psalms 20, take an offering confess the word of God in Psalms 20 on it. Pray to the Lord over that offering. And watch and see what God will do for you. I'm telling you, this is what I'm speaking. I'm, I'm not talking because I, I'm just saying it for you to give an offering. I'm telling you, it works. It works. Take that Psalms 20 when you have a prior, a burden, and when you have problems, pray that Psalms over your offering. Pray over that offering and, and just give it somewhere. Give it some, don't just give it anywhere. Give it somewhere where you know that it's a good ground. You know it's a prayerful ground. And watch and see how God will fight for you. That is one thing I know for a fact. All right? So with that said, let's take the opportunity now. And we are going to pray. We're going to just ask God one more time for mercy. In any way, any form or shape, that um, you need to really empty your heart before the Lord. You need to ask him for mercy. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are here and we are calling on to you now. Father, we know we need your help and we are about to pray. Father, by your mercy, have mercy upon us, O God. Set us free, mighty Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, my God, my Savior, my Redeemer, I ask you, O God, by your resurrection power, that you will heal, O God, our hearts and redeem us by your mercy, O God. Lord, as we pray, let your help come our way in the name of Jesus. Father, take all the glory, the honor, and the praise. We worship you, almighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, let's do this right now. Lord, connect me to the top. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, connect me to the top. In the name of Jesus. My Father, connect me to the top. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, my God, connect me to the top. In the name of Jesus. My Father, connect me to the top. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord my God, connect me to the top. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Everything in my life, hindering my divine connection, be removed by the power of God. In the name of Jesus, everything in my life, hindering my divine connection, be removed by the power of God in the name of Jesus. Everything in my life hindering my divine connection be removed by the power of God in the name of Jesus. Everything in my life hindering my divine connection be removed by the power of God in the name of Jesus. Everything in my life hindering my divine connection be removed by the power of God in the name of Jesus. Everything in my life hindering my divine connection be removed by the power of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, raise help up from my life. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, raise help up from my life. In the name of Jesus. Lord, raise help up from my life. In the name of Jesus, my Father, raise help up for my life. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, raise help up for my life. 
In the name of Jesus, my father, raise helper for my life. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, raise helper for my life. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh Lord, let men and women bless my life to move me up. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, let men and women bless my life to move me up in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let men and women bless my life to move me up in the name of Jesus. My father, let men and women bless my life to move me up in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my God, let men and women bless my life to move me up in the name of Jesus. Father, let men and women bless my life to move me up in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, my Father, let men and women bless my life to move me up. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let my star appear like Jesus so that my white men will give me gifts. In the name of Jesus, let my star appear like Jesus so that my white men will give me gifts. In the name of Jesus, let my star appear like Jesus, so that my wise men will give me gift. In the name of Jesus, let my star appear like Jesus, so that my wise men will give me gift. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My glory come forth by the power of God. In the name of Jesus, my glory come forth. By the power of God, in the name of Jesus, my glory come forth. By the power of God, in the name of Jesus, my glory come forth. By the power of God, in the name of Jesus, my glory come forth. By the power of God, in the name of Jesus, my glory come forth. By the power of God, in the name of Jesus, my glory come forth. By the power of God, in the name of Jesus, my glory come forth by the power of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I am connected where it matters by the power of God. In the name of Jesus, I am connected where it matters by the power of God. In the name of Jesus, I am connected where it matters. By the power of God, in the name of Jesus, I am connected where it matters. By the power of God, in the name of Jesus, I am connected where it matters. By the power of God, in the name of Jesus, I am connected where it matters. By the power of God, in the name of Jesus, I am connected where it matters. By the power of God, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, connect me to my divine helper. In the name of Jesus. Lord, connect me to my divine helper. In the name of Jesus. Lord, connect me to my divine helper. In the name of Jesus. Lord, connect me to my divine helper. In the name of Jesus. Lord, connect me to my divine helper. In the name of Jesus, Lord, connect me to my divine helper. In the name of Jesus, Lord, connect me to my divine helper. In the name of Jesus, Lord, connect me to my divine helper. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My divine helper shall not be attacked. In the name of Jesus, my divine helper shall not be attacked. In the name of Jesus, my divine helper shall not be attacked. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Imagine you have a divine helper that is on the way to help you. And on the way, that helper is attacked. What do you think is going to happen? The help will not come true. So you have to pray for your helpers. Really and truly. You don't have to know who your helpers are. Sometimes God can use anybody in any dimension. So you have to always pray and ask God to protect your helpers, to bless your help helpers. You know, like I, I see 
in life, even in ministry. You know, you see some people will be tearing down the very person that God has ordained to deliver them. So how do you tear down the person that God is ordained? The person is not perfect. You're not perfect. So the truth of the matter is that if you see something that is not right or you don't like about the person, start to intercede for them. Because when that person breaks through, you are breaking through too. Because if that person is your helper, they breaking through means that you are breaking through. So you have to pray for your helpers. So for me, I always pray for my pastor. I always pray for the people in the ministry. I always do. I pray for the people that comes on the YouTube regularly. I pray for them because guess what? They are my helper and I'm their helper too. Yes. So we have to pray for, their, for our helpers. Amen. All right. So we're going to pray it right now. Now that you know that you don't want your helper to be attacked because your helper being attacked means that there's a delay or even a stop to your blessing or to your breakthrough. So we're going to pray now. Pray again. My helper, and my divine helper, shall not be attacked. In the name of Jesus, my divine helper shall not be attacked. In the name of Jesus, my divine helper shall not be attacked. In the name of Jesus, my divine helper shall not be attacked. In the name of Jesus, my divine helper shall not be attacked. In the name of Jesus, my divine helper shall not be attacked. In the name of Jesus, my divine helper shall not be attacked. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every wind of disappointment blowing against me and my helpers be reversed. In the name of Jesus, every wind of disappointment blowing against me and my helpers be reversed in the name of Jesus. Every wind of disappointment blowing against me and my helpers be reversed in the name of Jesus. Every wind of disappointment blowing against me and my helpers be reversed in the name of Jesus. Every wind of disappointment blowing against me and my helpers be reversed in the name of Jesus. Every wind of disappointment blowing against me and my helpers be reversed in the name of Jesus. Every wind of disappointment blowing against me and my helpers be reversed in the name of Jesus. Every wind of disappointment blowing against me and my helpers be reversed in the name of Jesus. Every wind of disappointment blowing against me and my helpers be reversed. In the name of Jesus, every wind of disappointment blowing against me and my helpers be reversed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any form of manipulation between me and my divine helpers be canceled. In the name of Jesus, any form of manipulation between me and my helpers be canceled. In the name of Jesus, any form of manipulation between me and my divine helpers be canceled. In the name of Jesus, any form of, of manipulation between me and my divine helpers be canceled. In the name of Jesus, any form of manipulation between me and my divine helpers be canceled. In the name of Jesus, any form of manipulation between me and my divine helpers be canceled. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Like you helped Peter when he was almost giving up. Oh Lord, help me. In the name of Jesus, like you helped Peter when he was almost giving up. Oh Lord, help me. In the name of Jesus, like you helped Peter when he was almost giving up. Oh Lord, help me. In the name of Jesus, like you helped Peter when he was almost giving up. Oh Lord, help me. In the name of Jesus, like you helped Peter when he was almost giving up. Oh Lord, help me. In the name of Jesus, like you helped Peter when he was almost giving up. Oh Lord, help me. In the name of Jesus, like you helped Peter when he was almost giving up. Oh Lord, help me. In the name of Jesus, like you helped Peter when he was almost giving up. 
Oh, Lord, help me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I command the dew of the dew of help to rest upon me, my work, my family, my ministry and children. You can put whatever you want in, in, in those areas. And it's very important, whatever you put, whatever you think you need the help of God in. I command the dew of help to rest on me, my work, and my family. In the name of Jesus, I command the dew of help to rest on me, my work, my family, my children, my ministry. In, in the name of Jesus, I command the dew of help to rest on me, my work, my career, my family, my ministry, in the name of Jesus, I command the dew of help to rest on me, my work, my business, my career, my family, my business, my ministry, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Every labor of the enemy upon my destiny and my helper. Be aborted in the name of Jesus. Every labor of the enemy upon my destiny and my helper. Be aborted in the name of Jesus. Every labor of the enemy upon my destiny and my helper. Be aborted in the name of Jesus. Every labor of the enemy upon my destiny and my helper. Be aborted in the name of Jesus. Every labor of the enemy upon my destiny and my helper be aborted. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every anti-testimony altar erected against me and my helpers be scattered by thunder. In the name of Jesus, every anti-testimony altar erected against me and my helpers be scattered by thunder. In the name of Jesus, every anti-testimony altar erected against me and my helpers be scattered by thunder. In the name of Jesus, every anti-testimony altar erected against me and my helpers be scattered by thunder. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so before we continue these prayers, I want to encourage everybody to take the opportunity to like the video, share it with your friends, your family, and loved ones. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and also hit the notification bell so that whenever we go live, you'll be able to see us and join us as we pray. All right, so we've been praying that my help is on the way, our help is on the way. And we have said that, you know, when you have something that you really need help, you need the help of God, help maybe in your marriage, help in your career, help in your finances, help over your health. Whatever the circumstances, people need help in so many ways, help over court cases, whatever it is. So whatever you are trusting the Lord for today, for help, we're going to exercise some faith right now, and we're going to present those cases before the Lord. So we're going to use the book of Psalms chapter 20. We're going to use this Psalms chapter 20. We're going to confess it over um, whatever we're trusting the Lord for help with. And then when we use this Psalms chapter 20 to confess, I wanted to put an offering beside it. Put an offering or a seed beside it. And um, we're going to use God. And we're going to hold him to his word. Because he said clearly in his word, remember all my offerings. May the Lord remember all your offerings. So we're going to put our petitions, which is our prayer requests. Whatever you're trusting the Lord for, we're going to put it before him now. And we're also going to use this Psalms 20. We're going to pray over it. So please, let's just do that. Um, just grab your seat. If you don't have it in your hand, just write it on a piece of paper with your prayer request quickly. So I'll be saying, uh, we'll be praying a two, um, two more prayer points while you get ready with your offering or your seed. And then also your prayer requests or whatever you want God to do. Whatever you want the Lord to help you with. Help is on the way. So whatever it is, I don't know what your help is. It could be help for a child. Help for your health. Help for your marriage. Help for your finances. Help whatever you're trusting the Lord for. All right? So we're going to do that. I'll pray two prayer points while you get ready with your offerings and also with your prayer requests. And we're going to really challenge God at his word. Amen? So let's do it. 
I command the dew of help to rest on me, my work, my family, my marriage, my career. In the name of Jesus, I command the dew of help to rest on me, my work, my career, my children, my family, my ministry, my business. In the name of Jesus, I command the dew of help to rest on me, my work, my family, my ministry, my career. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every labor of the enemy upon my destiny and my helper be aborted in the name of Jesus. Every labor of the enemy upon my destiny and my helper be aborted in the name of Jesus. Every labor of the enemy upon my destiny and my helper be aborted in the name of Jesus. Every labor of the enemy upon my destiny and my helper be aborted in Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right. So I'm sure you'll probably have your prayer requests now and you have that seed with you. So grab your prayer request, your seed or offering with you. We're going to Use the word of God and we're going to pray in faith that as help is on the way, the Lord will remember us. He will remember our offerings, he will remember our petitions, and he will fulfill them. Amen. So we're going to use the word of God to do that. So let's grab those prayer requests. Prayer requests. If you have pictures, if it's your husband you're believing for, you can grab his picture. If it's your children, you can grab their picture, whatever you want. And you can just write it down. If you're not in the position to write it down or present anything, it's on your heart, lay it on the tablet of, the, of your heart to the Lord. Show the, the God know what is on your heart. All right, so we're going to do it. So grab that offering, hold it close to your mouth, and we're going to confess the word of God on it. So this is what Psalms 20 says. Turn over to Psalms chapter 20. We're doing it together. I'm not the one confessing it for you. You're confessing it with me in faith. All right, so grab your Bible, Psalms chapter 20. Psalms chapter 20, and let's confess it together. We're going to start in 1, 2. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of God of Jacob defend you. All right, you know what? Let's personalize it. Let's personalize this um, Psalms chapter 20. Let's personalize it. Instead of just saying it, may you do that, let's personalize it. So put, may the Lord hear me in the day of trouble. Let's do it. Psalms chapter 20. May the Lord hear me in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend me. Send me help from the sanctuary and strengthen me out of Zion. Remember all my offerings and accept my, uh, my burnt sacrifice. Grant me according to thine own heart and fulfill all my counsel. I will rejoice in the salvation and in the name of our God, I will set up my banners. The Lord fulfill all my petitions. Now I know that the Lord saveth his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But I will remember the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. Save Lord, let the king hear us when I call. Let the king hear us when we call. Amen. All right. So now that you have um, read the word of God and it, I want you to open your mouth and begin to speak to the Lord over those prayer requests, those petitions that you have, those prayer requests. Some of you have prayer requests that is years overdue. This is the time. Take your opportunity now. Talk to God. The beauty is that you guys are on YouTube. Nobody's hearing you. Open up your mouth. Talk to God over that situation. Strange woman frustrating your marriage for too long. People has been frustrating your life for too long. Affliction has been in your life for too long and you call yourself a child of God. Open up your mouth and talk to God over those prayer requests that you have before him. Tell him, he said that he will remember all your offering. That's what his word said. He said, remember all thy offerings and accept thy burnt sacrifice. Right? He said he will fulfill all of your petitions, all the prayer requests that you have. Remind the Lord. He said he will fulfill them. Tell him that enough is enough. He said even in his word, no more delay. 
it is time, oh God, you must do something in my life. Cry out to the Lord. Father, it is time. Do something in our lives, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are holding it to your word in Psalms chapter 20, God. You said you will hear us in the day of trouble. Father, we are very confident that help is on the way, God, and we need your help right now in the name of Jesus. Father, let help come our way, God, by the power in the blood of Jesus. Father, send help to me now, oh God, in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, my Savior, my Redeemer, I cry out to you for help, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, let your help come now, oh God, over my marriage. Let your help come over my finances. Let your help come over my career. Let your help come over this ministry, God. Father, I have enough, oh God. Enough is enough, Lord. Lord, you must arise and do something. Father, Lord, the enemy has been mocking the God in my life. The enemy has been mocking you, making you a laughing stock in my life. Father, arise in the name of Jesus. Show up as a mighty God in the name of Jesus. Show up in the marriages of your children. Show up in their finances. Show up in their families. Show up in their work. Show up in their health, Lord, in the name of Jesus. My father, my God, it is time, oh God, for you to arise and do something. It is time, oh God, for you to arise and do the great and impossible thing that, Lord God, everyone sees as impossible. Because what God is impossible to man, it is possible to you. Father, we are crying out to you for help from above. And we are asking you to locate us now in the name of Jesus. Locate us by your mercy. Locate us by your power. Locate us in the name of Jesus. Great and mighty is your name, God. We praise you, God. We adore you and we say thank you. For our help is here. Our help is coming, oh God. You are our helper. God, you are our refuge in the time of trouble. We trust you, God, for this help, oh God. Father, all of our prayer requests, Lord, we pray you answer them now. By your mercy, answer our prayer request, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, take all the glory, take all the honor, take all the praise, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, so we're going to pray these prayers now over these um, prayer requests that we have and uh, your seed that you have. So please, when we finish the prayer, you go to the ministry website, www.ogodariseministries.com. Right there, you see all the ways you can give. You can give through Cash App, through um, Zelle, through the ministry website, through e-transfer if you're in Canada. And also, um, every way that is there to give is there. You can also give right here on the YouTube channel through Super Stickers, Super Chat, Super Tanks. You can give through being a member of the YouTube channel or give other people membership. And however you feel best to give, you can give. And the Lord will bless you. And we pray as we pray in faith for help and for God to answer our prayers, he will do great and mighty things in our lives. Let's just pray these prayers now over your prayer request and also over your seed or your offering. Let's pray them. Let's continue to pray. Every anti-testimony altar erected against me and my helpers be scattered in the name of Jesus. Every anti-testimony altar erected against me and my helpers be scattered by fire in the name of Jesus. Every anti-testimony altar erected against me and my helpers be scattered by thunder in the name of Jesus. Every anti-testimony altar erected against me and my helpers be scattered by thunder in the name of Jesus. Every anti-testimony altar erected against me and my helpers be scattered by thunder in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let goodness and mercy locate my divine helpers. In the name of Jesus, let goodness and mercy locate my divine helpers. In the name of Jesus, let goodness and mercy locate my divine helpers. In the name of Jesus, let goodness and mercy locate my divine helpers. In the name of Jesus, let goodness and mercy locate my divine helpers. In the name of Jesus, let goodness and mercy locate my divine helpers. 
In the name of Jesus, let goodness and mercy locate my divine helpers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My divine helpers will not suddenly hate me. In the name of Jesus, my divine helpers will not suddenly hate me. In the name of Jesus, my divine helpers will not suddenly hate me. In the name of Jesus, my divine helpers will not suddenly hate me. In the name of Jesus, my divine helpers will not suddenly hate me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The expectation of my divine helpers shall not be cut off. In the name of Jesus, the expectation of my divine helpers shall not be cut off suddenly. In the name of Jesus, the expectation of my divine helpers shall not be cut off suddenly. In the name of Jesus, the expectation of my divine helpers shall not be cut off suddenly. In the name of Jesus, the expectation of my divine helpers shall not be cut off suddenly. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every spirit of mortuary hanging over my head and help us. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of mortuary hanging over my head and my helpers. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of mortuary hanging over my head and my helpers. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of mortuary hanging over my head and helpers. I bind you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Sudden darkness will not cover me and my divine helpers. In the name of Jesus, sudden darkness will not cover me and my divine helpers. In the name of Jesus, sudden darkness will not cover me and my divine helpers. In the name of Jesus, sudden darkness will not cover me. And my divine helpers, in the name of Jesus, sudden darkness will not cover me. And my divine helpers, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I will, I, I will, I cancel any dream manipulation program against me and my divine helpers. In the name of Jesus, I cancel any dream manipulation program against me and my divine helpers in the name of jesus i cancel any dream manipulation program against me and my divine helpers in the name of jesus i cancel any dream manipulation program against me and my divine helpers in the name of jesus i cancel any dream manipulation program against me and my divine helpers in the name of Jesus, I cancel any dream manipulation program against me and my divine helpers. In the name of Jesus, I cancel any dream manipulation program against me and my divine helpers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's pray some immunity prayers now for ourselves and our helpers and our help that is on the way. Every water of affliction of sickness flowing into my life be cut off in the name of Jesus. Every water of affliction of sickness flowing into my life be cut off in the name of Jesus. Every water of affliction of sickness flowing into my life be cut off in the name of Jesus. Every water of affliction of sickness flowing into my life be cut off in the name of Jesus. Every water of affliction of sickness flowing into my life. Be cut off in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any evil association against my health. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Any evil association against my health. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Any evil association against my health, scatter 
in the name of Jesus, any evil association against my health be scattered in the name of Jesus. Any evil association against my health, I scatter you now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any evil weapon fashioned against my health, die in the name of Jesus. Any evil weapon fashioned against my health, die in the name of Jesus. Any evil weapon fashioned against my health, Die in the name of Jesus. Any evil weapon fashion against my health. Die in the name of Jesus. Any evil weapon fashion against my health. Die in the name of Jesus. Any evil weapon fashion against my health. Die in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every fire of sickness tormenting my life. East wind of God, blow them away in the name of Jesus. Every fire of sickness tormenting my life. East wind, blow them away in the name of Jesus. Every fire of sickness tormenting my life. East wind of God, blow them away in the name of Jesus. Every fire of sickness tormenting my life. East wind of God, blow them away. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost melt away. Sickness is in my body. In the name of Jesus, let the fire of the Holy Ghost melt away. Sickness is in my body. In the name of Jesus, let the fire of the Holy Ghost melt away. Sickness in my body. In the name of Jesus, let the fire of the Holy Ghost melt away. Sickness in my body. In the name of Jesus, let the fire of the Holy Ghost melt away. Sickness in my body. In the name of Jesus, let the fire of the Holy Ghost melt away. Sickness in my body. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every power of sickness and disease. On my body, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every power of sickness and diseases on my body, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every power of sickness and diseases in my body, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every power of sickness and diseases in my body, die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every witchcraft cauldron cooking my health. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft cauldron cooking my health. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft cauldron cooking my health. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft cauldron. Book in my health, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft cauldron, book in my health, catch fire in Jesus' name. We pray, man. Let my life break forth and my health spring forth speedily in the name of Jesus. Let my life break forth. And my health spring forth speedily in the name of Jesus. Let my life break forth and my health spring forth speedily in the name of Jesus. Let my life break forth and my health spring forth speedily in the name of Jesus. Let my life break forth and my health spring forth speedily in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I bear in my body. The mark of the blood of Jesus. Let sickness flee from away from my habitation. In the name of Jesus, I bear in my body the mark of the blood of Jesus. Let sickness flee away from my habitation. In the name of Jesus, I bear in my body the mark of the blood of Jesus. Let sickness flee away from my habitation. 
In the name of Jesus, I bear in my body the mark of the blood of Jesus. Let sickness flee away from my habitation. In the name of Jesus, I bear in my body the mark of the blood of Jesus. Let sickness flee away from my habitation. In Jesus' name we pray. Help from above. Locate me in the name of Jesus. Help from above. Locate me in the name of Jesus. Help from above. Locate me in the name of Jesus. Help from above. Locate me in the name of Jesus. Help from above. Locate me in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's just take the opportunity and begin to thank God for all these prayers that we have prayed. Thank him because help is on our way. Thank him because he will remember your offering. He will remember your prayer requests and he will answer you according to his word. He said he will fulfill all thy petitions. Let's just begin to thank God. Father, we just want to thank you for the help that is on the way. Thank you, oh God, that we will not open doors to the enemy to block the help that is coming to us. Thank you, God, for accepting our offerings and our um, prayer requests and petitions right before you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we praise you, God, and we say thank you, God, for you alone are worthy to be praised. Thank you, oh God, for uprooting every plantation of darkness inside of us that will block our help in the name of Jesus. Thank you for setting us free from the way of pain and chains in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you glory and we say thank you because help is on the way. We say thank you because you are merciful, God. Thank you because you are great, great and mighty warrior. Excellent is your name, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, you deserve the glory, the honor, and the praise. We come before your presence. We say, be thou exalted. We come before your presence. We say, thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. You are our rock. You are our deliverer. You are our shield, our glory, and the lift of our head. We praise your name. I am that I am. We magnify your name, ancient of days. Father, thank you, O oh God, that anyone, any power, any personality that wants to attack us because of these prayers, Father, we command them to collide into the rock of ages and perish in the name of Jesus. Father, any regrouping, regathering, and reinforcement of the enemy against us because of our prayers. Father, let them collapse in the rock of ages and be grinded to powder in the name of Jesus. Father, we cover all the prayers that we have prayed in the blood of Jesus. We cover all the answers to our prayers in the blood of Jesus. Lord, thank you for fighting for us. Thank you, O oh God, that as you fight, we will hold our peace because you are a victorious warrior, Lord. We give you praise and we say thank you, Lord. So you deserve the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. So I want to congratulate somebody because help is on the way. And your help is literally at your doorstep. So open up and take it because God has sent help your way. And I believe, I'm very confident that somebody will have a testimony even before the end of the day and before the end of the week. Please share your testimony with us. Send us an email to our website, www.ogodariseministries.com at the contact section. Share your testimony. If you have my number, fine. Send me a text. Let me know what's going on and share your testimony. All right, so God bless you as you do that. Let's do our confession and then we leave Habakkuk chapter two, verse one to four. That's our confession for this week. I'm using the new King James version. It says, I will stand my watch and set myself on the rampart and watch to see what he will say to me and what I will answer when I am corrected, All right? The Lord answered me and said, write the vision, make it plain on tablets that he may run who reads it. For the vision is yet for a appointed time, for an appointed time. But at the end, it will speak and it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Behold the proud. His soul is not upright in, in him, but the just shall live by faith. Amen. And as you go, I pray. That as you read the scripture, you know what the scripture said? It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak and it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Your help is on the way. And that is what the scripture is saying. The appointed time is now. Some of you are experiencing the appointed time before the end of today. Some of you will see it before the end of the week. 
And if you don't see before the end of the week, the word of God said, though it tarries, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Amen. So God bless you. You do have a wonderful rest of your day. Keep in mind, we are here on YouTube this evening and um, make sure that you're on time. Set your alarm. Um, I believe it's three o'clock I put on the schedule. Yes. So three o'clock this evening, we are here on YouTube. And we, as I promise you that I will be praying um, sometime this week on YouTube. So you already got the taste of it now. And also this evening at three o'clock, we're here on YouTube. Also Saturday at three o'clock, again, we're on YouTube. So make sure you set your alarm. Make sure you organize yourself so that you don't miss out. I promise you that it will be fire. All right? The fire of God will come down. The help of God will locate you and the power of God will intervene in your case. Amen? God bless you. You have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you this evening at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on YouTube. Take care. Bye-bye.